The hometown deli in Osable Forks looks like your average sandwich shop. Get your somebody your house. But this cozy family-owned business has faced its fair share of hardships. We burned in 2005. 18 months later, we got a lot of feedback from the town, and we uh, reopened again after many hard hours and work. And just four years ago, destruction overcame the eatery once again. When tropical storm Irene hit, it was awful. We've never seen anything like this. Now, this line here marks just how much water flooded the hometown deli during Hurricane Irene just four years ago. And compared to some of the other homes and businesses in the area, the owners say they're the lucky ones. We worked with the fire department, who worked with us very well. And we just, there was lots and lots of people that we kept fed. The town of Jay, just a stone's throw away from the hometown deli, was hit hard by Irene. Randy Douglas was the town supervisor at the time. He says nothing could have prepared him for what happened. We felt, you know, we're just going to do our normal thing, get ready for the disaster, but had no idea what was about to hit us. Irene gave Jay $25 million in damages. The storm ruined bridges and roads and flooded numerous homes and businesses. But four years later, Douglas says the town is moving forward. For me, it's satisfaction because I know I gave it my all and I know the town's a much better place. We had to put this new board on. We're still painting over here. Beverly Seguin is moving forward too. She and her husband James made their final payment on their loan they took out to help repair damages from the storm on the four year anniversary. It feels great to get everything just paid in full and it's ours again. We don't owe anybody. Nice and neat. Seguin says she'll never forget the storm. But on the four year anniversary of Irene, she says she's finally able to put the storm behind her and continue moving forward, all thanks to her community. If we didn't have this town, we wouldn't have our business. And when there's a tragedy, we know who to count on. In Osable Forks, Liz Strappa, WPTZ News Channel 5.